Good morning, Grace family. As many of you probably know, I grew up in the country of Paraguay as a missionary kid. And uh, I would like to share one of those stories about you today about uh, a friend of mine who uh, I knew growing up and I happened to have a conversation with him this morning. Um, his name was Elvio and uh, my dad, he was a missionary. My parents are still missionaries there. They started this Bible school and oftentimes they would have uh, people, students who would come from uh, other towns in Paraguay and they would stay with us. Well, one of these guys was, his name was Elvio. When he was a child, he was a polio victim. So he was paralyzed, uh, mostly paralyzed in one leg. He had one leg that worked uh, not that well. So he was, he, he always used crutches and he walked with crutches. And there were times we'd go walking places and it was raining and he'd, he'd say, hey, watch this. And he'd throw one leg over his shoulder and, and he'd walk through the puddle on crutches <laughs> and not get wet at all and he'd say okay now let's see you try <laughs> um just loved this guy and still do and uh over the years we've kept in touch here and there but this morning uh he sent me a, a message over whatsapp it's this voice recorded message and just kind of says hi and then i talked to him and asked him hey what do you what have you been up to and the story was really pretty amazing he says uh so well, in the mornings, I go to work for City Hall and we're working on this water project. And uh, I'm one of the guys in, in charge of, of this water project for thousands of people. And in the afternoon, uh, he's a barber and I, I've known this for years. He said, in, in, in the afternoon, I have my barber shop and, uh, you know, I, I work at that. And then I also invest in, in ministry. And so that's, that's what I do. And so we talked back and forth and I asked him a little bit more. And... Uh, and I, I basically just kind of pointed out that over the years, it was nice to see that God had put him in a place where, where, where he could really uh, be used and, and was being used. And he said, yeah, uh, it's interesting because uh, when we meet together for our city hall meetings, oftentimes I'm asked to share a verse. <laughs> and I, I, up front, he, he asked if he could do that. And uh, they let him. And so for about four years now, he's been regularly sharing a scripture verse, a short devotional with people from, uh, from work. Uh, I mean, it is Paraguay, but, but he's, he's bold and he goes up and he shares and he says, and pe people know me and we, we have great conversations around this. Um, but the other side of it is him being a barber. <clears throat> he says he's got other friends that are barbers. So he gets together with them and he, he's asked them to help to, to help him go out in the community and offer free haircuts to kids. And so they'll get together and put up a chair or a few chairs and then he'll get to share, they'll invite neighborhood, the neighborhood kids and they'll share the gospel and then he'll give them free haircuts, free cool kid haircuts. Anyway, um, it's pretty amazing. I just wanted to let that thought sink in us for a minute and this verse says this, it's out of Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Elvio <clears throat> has chosen to become, to find ways <clears throat> to use God's gifting in his life to share the gospel. He, is, he lives not a religious-centered life. He lives a gospel-centered life. That's how he lives his life. And considering what life has thrown at him, <laughs> he has chosen to be creative. And I think about this time of COVID. It's kind of handicapped us in so many ways. And it's, I think it's time for us to think creatively, to think as a church, how can I go out and be the body of Christ to those around me? Because that is, that is our job as the church. That is the church's job. And oftentimes, you know, I hear that it's, you know, we have this perception that this is the job of pastors and staff. Um, it is, but it's their job also to empower, to encourage. And I just want to encourage you as the church to go out and be that light. You are that light. And in so many ways, when I think about Grace Community Church, I think about Comunidad, 
I see God's light shining. Uh, I had a conversation with a brother just the other day. We had an, a meeting outdoors, and two new people showed up that I'd never seen before at, at this outdoor service. And I started having a conversation with one of them, and it was as if this guy had come into, had known Christ for a long time because he had been in conversation with this brother from Comunidad who had been sharing the gospel. And they, they, they went from not just knowing God to growing in this relationship. And the desire for, for that man who was there, who I was just having a conversation with, is to go from that uh, becoming acquainted with Jesus to sharing Jesus, to being that light. Uh, Elvio is our example today, and I hope that is an encouragement to you.